Welcome to my walkthrough on the Paralog Battle, the Sword and Shield of Seros. This is the Paralog involving both Alois and Shamir. Let's take a look at the map, shall we? This is a bit of an interesting setting in that Alois won't be recruitable yet. Or he will be if you're doing this Paralog in the late game, although you probably shouldn't. Shamir is recruitable at this stage of the game. You'll have your units split to cover every single part of the town. You've got a couple of units of enemies on this port. On the boats. And below town. Now I'm actually just going to do a quick refill. And we are good to go. The victory conditions are to defeat the enemy commander. Your defeat conditions are actually rather unique. You don't need all your units to survive, just Shamir or Alois falls in bat battle. Triple before us! The Almira. They're on. Um it's the knights! It would be a disaster if they attacked. We've got you. Now there is your second shall I say, defeat condition. If a pirate, any pirate, goes past any of these pink squares, so there's three on the bottom and three on the east side, and remains in town for five turns, you lose. This is not too difficult to, shall I say, prevent, primarily because, well, let's be honest here, you should have units that are right now. The enemy commander, no surprise, is here. He's a brigand, so he's an intermediate class. But his short axe gives him ranged attack. Otherwise, you're not really encountering any unit that's particularly different or unique. So let's get started. If you've got a flyer... I have my Byleth as a flyer, but you can have Ingrid, or in some cases Petra or Flane at this point as a flyer. They can start making their way over to the captain now. The other units should really just be focusing on fighting any enemies either in coming from the east or the south. I'll have Lorenz go there because he'll basically be blocking this. off that enemy. Now, contrary to popular belief, Alois is going to advance, but he's really just going to take care of any enemies that come around. He should be okay for the most part. If you're able to control Shamir, she'll do this approximately the same thing. If you just wanted a, a guard army and just having the enemies come to you, you could really position your units along the pink squares and just have your enemies come to you, while Shamir and whatever unit, two units you've got, will just patrol everything else. By the way, there's nothing spoilery about saying Shamir will be defending. Ready anytime. She has to be in this paralogue. To work. So I'll have Shamir wait. Oh. Alois is also controllable, even if you don't have him to ally, or he's not recruitable. But I'm just gonna have him wait. Let's try this! Really, as long as you stop the flow of units, it should be okay. More enemy units will occasionally respawn here, so reinforcements will come in. But the good news is, nothing too weird should show up. If any of the Wyvern Riders get too close, and there are a few Wyvern Riders, just have an archer 
or a mage come close because wyvern riders are extremely bad when it comes to magic and bows. I'm just gonna have the girls stay there. Marianne, this time, just. Actually, I'm gonna have her move to the bottom with Ignatz. Magnificent. Lorenz is just gonna come here. Guard. 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 Well, I have one unit, one or two, you can have a small army go out and fight to reach the enemy commander. Because Alois is a guest character, and Shamir will be too if you haven't recruited her at this point. She won't- they- he won't gain any EXP, and you will lose out on EXP if he takes down an opponent. Don't worry about the fight. And more units will show up. Meaning, some units will have to advance, some will have to stay on defense. That's just ha the, how things go. Good news is, n as long as someone's advancing, whether you have a powerful army sweep this way, or from the bottom, and you have some units covering the town, this paralog is really not too difficult to defeat. Just aim for the enemy commander, which is the pirate captain on this ship. Once he's down, the paralog is over. Well, that's it. Thank you so much. And that is the Sword and Shield of Saros paralog, done in three turns. But really, this is a very simple paralog. Just make sure no one you've got units staying behind to protect the town so that no one no enemy gets too comfortable and stays there for five turns and just have your armies or your units split off into two teams or just have one set of units just progress through and make their way to the pirate captain take him out and the paralogue is over thank you so much for watching this walkthrough if you like this video please do subscribe there will be more in the future but in the meantime thank you so much and join me for another paralogue Later.